Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of September reading for you all. September 16th through the 30th reading for Taurus. How are you all today? Oh, hope everybody's doing great. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everybody. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. My heart and my thoughts and my prayers are going out to everybody that's suffering right now. I'm so sorry to see it. I'm so sorry to hear about it. Please stay safe, okay, you all? <laughs> Sometimes these cards are more than I can hang on to. All right, let's see what we got. Justice. The Tower. Lovers. The Sun. It's always a great card, right? Three of Cups, Celebrations. Five of Pentacles. Sorry. You're clarifying. Seven of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. And Queen of Pentacles. Remain positive. Ask for help from others. Ace of Abundance. This cherub brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. There may be important contracts to sign. That's absolutely beautiful, you all. You may be getting some sort of resources that you're not expecting. Fair decisions. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. Hmm. All is being healed. Heaven is shining a light on you. Give me just a minute, okay? You know, when I get this Ace of Abundance and it tells me that you guys may get some sort of resources that you may not be expecting, it's almost like it's, it's something that miraculously appears. I'm almost feeling like that there may be something that comes in like this Seven of Pentacles. You know, when you see this Seven of Pentacles, you see money growing on a tree or on a bush here, which um, 
obviously don't happen. <laughs> we don't have money trees in this world. But what it is, is a blessing is how I see it. You guys may be pleasantly surprised in some sort of a blessing that's coming in that you're going to be absolutely thrilled about. And then when you see this Three of Pentacles, it's almost like you are ready for some sort of change. So if you guys are thinking about, like this card says, starting a new venture, changing careers, going into business for yourself, you guys may be considering uh, taking classes or doing something completely different. Something that you enjoy doing, something that you're wanting to learn. So I get excited about that because let's face it, you know, as we get older, we kind of get stuck with this, with doing the same things, whether we necessarily, whether we like it or not. You know, sometimes you kind of grow out of, of certain careers or certain jobs and sometimes you're like, I'm just so bored with this because I've done it for so long. I just want a change of some sort. So I'm kind of feeling like some of you guys are might be taking a giant leap into a totally different career. And let's face it, you all, if this is, uh, if it's time for you guys to switch careers, now might be the time to take it because there's a lot of jobs out there and you guys could possibly um, get something that you actually enjoy doing in so, instead of something that you have to do. You know what I mean? So. It's just a thought because this card's telling me, telling me that and some of these cards are saying that too. You might be pleasantly surprised. And, all, and honestly, some people may be giving you more money um, or a big chunk of money to start their job, you know, to, um, giving you like a, um, I forget what they call it, but you know, a big token of, of finances when you start and you stay there for so for so long, 30 days, 90 days, whatever it is, and then they'll give you $5,000 or something like that. So that might be where these cards are coming in too, which might be a, um, a pleasant, um, a thrill actually. So if you guys are finding yourself wanting to, a change of some sort, now might be the time to do it. And especially when I get this tower card up here, you guys, it makes me feel like that there may be something that's coming in that you guys are either going to have to change or you are on the verge of changing your mind about something. Sometimes when I get the tower, it's a physical alter alteration. It, it, something is changing in your life. Um, so, but sometimes when I get it, it's you guys hearing something or seeing something or finding something out that changes your perspective or changes your mind about something. So sometimes when you're so stuck in your uh, mind, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to do this, and then something comes in and you, you end up giving in and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's how I'm feeling with this tower card. So for some of you, if this is regarding your job, for instance, you may be pleasantly surprised about the type of job and the, the, the pay that you can get in another job that you would actually enjoy even more. So don't panic over, over something like that if it does happen. Just realize that sometimes things are meant to be and when you go with it, when you go with the, the flow and you remain positive, you'll realize that afterwards you'll be like you know what I love this job or maybe you're um, thinking about moving into a different location maybe your lease is up on your apartment and you're thinking about moving and all of a sudden you get a notice saying you have to move I'm selling this place you can't stay here anymore and you're like holy cow I wasn't expecting this but the next thing you know you go find another apartment or another place to live another home to live and it's a better place. It's maybe it's a cheaper place. Maybe it's a bigger home, you know? So I just want you to see that some things that change, even though they might shock you at the beginning, it may be exactly what uh, you're looking for and exactly what is the best for you, your family, your relationship possibly too. So I just want you to, to remember that because I do have some beautiful cards here. I mean, I, we have the Sun card. And the Sun card, as you guys know already, is honestly the happiest card in the deck. So some of you all may be thinking about weddings, engagements, marriages, things like that. 
and maybe with the justice card here, maybe you're thinking about getting um, running off and getting um, married that way. But I have a feeling that you guys are really going to be thrilled with the way things are working out for you. I do. Now, I just, I see this Five of Pentacles, and sometimes I feel like some of you all may be isolated right now, or isolating yourself. I think that's coming to an end. I do. I, I believe that you all, um, especially with everything that's going on, let's just face it, you all, so I feel like that if you have been isolating yourself, I think that's that's changing at this time. And I think you guys are really going to open up a lot more. Maybe even have little get-togethers. Maybe have people over. Um, or you go out a little bit more than maybe you have been in the past. So I'm just feeling like even though this Tower card is here, along with the Five of Pentacles, maybe that's what's coming in to change for a lot of you all. And it's going to open up a bigger world and a happier world for most of you guys. So I feel like it's a, it's a going to be a great um, change that's coming in for you all. And I think you're going to be thrilled with it in the, when it's all said and done. Hold on just a second. I have this Justice card here, and I feel like the, all of you all want more balance in your life, especially nowadays, and maybe that's where this isolation could be coming in as well. So I feel like balance is coming in and it is going to steady out your uh, home life, possibly your work life, and I feel like you're going to feel, it's going to be like huge sigh of relief almost. I have to say this because I'm feeling I'm feeling like there's two sides to this. On one hand, this tower may go hand in hand with this lovers. There may be uh, some kind of a breakup in your um, romantic life. On the other hand, I feel like for some of you guys, you guys are getting closer and you're thinking about weddings or engagements or 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 getting married, maybe running off and getting married. So I'm kind of torn. I feel like that there may be, um, it may go, for half of you it may be one, and for the other half it may be the other. But either way it goes, I feel like that this might be something that you feel like has to happen for you to be happy and for you to be able to celebrate. If you guys are in the process of splitting up, it may be because of this um, financial loss. Let me just say this. I don't like to give bad news on here. I mean, I don't like to say negative things, but for some reason I feel like I need to say this. Some of you all may be in a bad... Um, a bad relationship and if you are you know in your heart that you will be much happier out of this relationship sometimes you just hang on to it and then all of a sudden the tower card comes in and then it, it's a must it has to happen at that time so for some of you this is regarding a relationship with the tower but for others I feel like that this is a stronger relationship because of the tower because I don't think it has anything to do with your relationship. I think it has more to do with a job or a location or something to that extent. And when, when something like that, if you're a strong couple at the beginning and if something like that comes in, it's actually going to make you stronger than ever. It's going to bond you together and make you realize that this is the person for you. So I just wanted to clarify that because I don't like to say negative things, um, especially something like that. But I do want you to know that if, if you know that this is not the right person, once you get out of it, you're going to be a lot happier. If it is the right person, this is going to make you stronger. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. I 
have this justice card too. Not only can it mean um, more balance, but it can also be court cases, lawsuits, things like that. So maybe that has something to do with what you're going through at this time. And maybe you're running off to the justice of the peace. I think they're straight, you all. Here's the thing. It's going to go half and half. Some of you all are going to be dealing with this tower card and your relationship. You realize that this is not the right person for you and it's going to come crumbling down in one way or another. They could be isolating you. They could be um, spending all your money and things like that. Uh, but I think what if, if it's not, if the tower card is, is about your relationship, then it's meant to be. For some of you, though, for the other half, this tower card has nothing to do with your relationship. It might have something to do with your job, um, the location that you're living at, something to that extent. And with that, it's going to make your relationship stronger. You guys may want to consider marriage or running off and getting married and things like that. I do see you celebrating, maybe getting together with some people. I do see more balance coming into your life with, within your relationship, if that's meant to be. And I see this sun card here, which makes, it's like a whole weight has been taken off of your shoulders and you guys can breathe again. It's a really good feeling that I have. Remain positive, you guys, especially because of this thing, okay? And ask for help from others if you need that. That could be you guys wanting to move somewhere different. You might need the, the muscles to help you move somewhere different. It might be someone helping you get another job or something like that. Don't hesitate to ask for help from others if you need help, okay? When I get these cards over here, here is a blessing, a financial blessing. So I feel like a blessing is coming in for you all, and you're going to be pleasantly surprised over it. When I see this Three of Pentacles right here, this could be something that you're wanting to learn how to do, or something that you are passionate about, or something that you would actually enjoy. So some of you all are actually getting a job that you're going to be thrilled about, and even if uh, they pay you pay you less maybe than what you're making now I feel like eventually here soon you'll get rewarded the way that you deserve and in other words you're going to get raises you're going to get other things that may compensate for your finances um, for some of you guys you're going to get a bonus and once you once you sign on and you're there for a while you're going to get a chunk of money possibly but then I have this queen of pentacles which is you and your sign right earth sign taurus virgo capricorn and you guys are taking charge over what's important to you at this time so if this relationship is important you guys are going to grab a hold of it and and not let go if this job is important that's what you're going to do at this time either way it goes i see you guys absolutely tickled by the end of this month and you're you're thrilled you're feeling more balance in your relationship and then here's the sun card. So honestly, whatever is meant to be when it happens, you guys probably already are aware of it to a certain extent. And I think it's going to turn out better than you would expect. Fair decisions. Your angels are aware that you have concerns, but be assured that there's nothing to worry about. Stand your ground and know that heaven is shining its divine light upon the situation and all is being healed. So that kind of makes me feel like stand your ground to the tower, whether it's one thing or whether it's a different thing. Whatever you feel like is, is, is important to you, stand your ground on it. And all is being healed. Take the time to review all the details thoroughly. Forgiveness will bring peace to everyone involved. So if there is forgiveness, whether it be your job or your landlord or your relationship, whatever it is, you may want to forgive and move on. It will help you as much or more than it will help the other person or the other situation. Ace of Abundance. This cherub brings wonderful news. A windfall of resources comes your way to help you with your plans. These resources may involve money, advice, or assistance in getting things done. And that could be where this ask for help from others is coming in, you all. It's a good time to start a new venture, change careers, or go into business for yourself. Just like I said over here, right? There may be important contracts to sign. 
So these contracts could go hand in hand with your relationship and they could go hand in hand with your new business or something that is um, possibly court system paperwork as well. So there's a lot of things that contracts can come in. So you guys, I believe, are going to be tickled by the end of this month. Things are going to work out for you. Even though sometimes with the tower card it feels like, you know, it's a big jolt. But honestly, maybe it's a jolt that needs to happen. All right, Taurus, this is a great reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is your second half of September, September 16th through the 30th reading for Taurus. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon.